I have a horrible item collection, right? 75% took 13 hours. That's okay, I guess. We have completed Metroid Prime. Most excellent. Now we have to play single player Metroid Prime Echoes on Veteran. Locate Federation troopers and render assistance. Looks like Samus's ship just exploded. Lightning storms. This place is dark. Oh, here we go. We're going down. We're looking for the trooper squad. And now we go into a crash landing. Any landing you can walk away from though, right? Chip's more tanky than I thought. Here we go. What happened to her gravity suit from the end of the last game? I mean, I know it's supposed to happen to her powers later, but what happened to the gravity suit? Uh-huh. Save your game and recharge your energy. Well, I suppose I should do that right now. You say video game logic, but they're they're going to Metroid her in just a minute. Like, hold on a second. I'm actually going to adjust the capture here. Um, I was going to say, though, they're going to Metroid her in a later scene. Meaning that um, she hasn't been Metroided yet. Um, where's her stuff? I'm just going to, yeah, blow that up there. I think that's fine. Maybe they did a pass on it for aesthetics. Well, uh, yeah, that that might be the reason because uh, I guess the gravity suit was kind of extra purple. And, you know, this is her iconic look. You know, uh, this, this kind of look. Um, geez, though, uh, you know, uh, it would be a shame if Dark Samus showed up. Got all these little plastic Nintendo toys. I am so glad that Amiibos exist, because as long as you aren't uh, falling victim to scalpers, you can get um, some pretty cheap, but, you know, cute little uh, figurines that would normally cost a lot more than what their retail price is asking. Like, if you want to get them somewhere else, from, a, say, a specialty shop or a uh, specialty, like, website. Uh, now, there are, of course, Amiibos that get uh, scalped, and those you, you buy on eBay for absurd amounts, or you, you know, they have on their own personal websites for absurd amounts of money, but that's neither here nor there. Let's see, our ship's kind of fried. Let's see, ooh, the scanning's a bit off. Hold on. Data scan complete. Structure houses a power grid. Motivator unit, electro array. All systems are offline due to age or structural damage. The scan looks better. Like I don't, I didn't remember this part. I, I, I'm gonna admit, I barely, and I mean barely, played Metroid Prime Two. So this is interesting. This is my ship, Samus's gunship, Hunter class gunship, vessel registered to Samus Aran. So this isn't a Chozo ship. It's a Hunter class gunship. Yes, our ship has been damaged. Auto repair function initiated. You can return to the ship and recharge, reload your weapons, save the progress of the game. Got it. On. Yeah. I just wanted to try to uh, hit the logbook, and the game was like, there we go. And we can rotate the model and everything. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. On. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out what's this rotation here. 
That's bizarre. Okay, no big deal. Let's uh, do what else we got. What's that? Scan complete. Statue's motivator unit has what? Uh, functional, but it requires power to operate. Power beam can't energize the statue. Seek an alternative energy source. Sometimes I can't shoot it. Why is it like your power armor? That's a very good question. All right, large quantity of sick fluid, fluids, indigenous bioforms. Uh, shell is vulnerable to destructive fire, so you can shoot that basically. Yes. I'm still looking at like miscellaneous other things. Uh, oh, I can double jump. Cool. Why can't I vault up? Because that's the the video game isn't ready to let me do that. Likewise, th that should be uh, what a wave beam. Doesn't matter. There's no wave beam in this. What do you mean? You get the dark beam. What? The light beam? Don't worry about it. See, I didn't like this because it's not Metroid-y enough for me. In the past. I, I played a little little bit of this a long time ago. And it wasn't Metroid-y enough for me. But, um... Yeah. Low level impact shield in the door. Prevent activation by local creatures. Weapon fire. Got it. Yes, the light beam and the dark beam. I heard the door close and freaked out. What do we got? Uh, let's see, durable, low-level environment. Presence of any plant uh, container suggests that it was placed here as decoration by local sentience. Huh. Oh, I see. That's neat. Yeah, the beams are boring here, I agree. Uh-huh. I didn't scan the door yet. Why'd you jump, Samus? Why why didn't you let me jump? I didn't scan the other door yet. Damn it. Okay, what's this? Scan objects. Composed of nutrient grade biomatter. All right, webbing, nourishment for local bioforms. What this? Uh, Galactic Federation crate. These are storage crates. Destroy them to discover their contents. What this? Uh, ventilation system still active. A heavy Galactic Federation crate. Got it. Only heavy weapon can break them. What else? Terminated bioform. Uh, it's a splinter. It's the inhalation of industrial grade pesticide. Toxic elements still present in the local atmosphere. Maintain support. Lockdown. Let's see, what's that? Great. Yep. Oh, okay. Mark six. Armored system. Right. Security locks. Right. Oh, only the most powerful explosives can break it. It is a lock unit. Cannot be damaged while the armor is active. Finally. Lock disengaged. Okay. Those are open. Lock disengaged to destroy it to advance. So in other words, I destroy those. Meanwhile, we'll destroy this little crate. Nothing in there for me. Fortunately. This bugs the crap out of me because I know she hasn't been Metroided yet. And so I'm really annoyed that she only has five missiles and just the power beam. But that would mean having to include those mechanics in the game. Uh, the, like, different beams. So, yeah, here we go. Annihilated Bioform. Uh, let's see. Marines are not prone to such overkill. So it got overkilled by a huge amount. Like, really? There's something big here. What's this? Gate control system restored. That'll do it. Yep. So it's teaching me to scan certain things. 
Okay, that's frightening. Look at that. Who are you? That's not Samus. That's a guy in a power suit. Yep, that's the cargo. Start scanning these. Uh, ventilation system conversion complete. Dispensing pesticides been complete. Pesticides pro proving effective. Hostile creatures decreasing in number, though still at critical levels. Security report all gates remain intact. Several gates have taken considerable damage from hostile forces. Repeated assaults may lead to breach uh, cha chambers A and C. Yes, but when we played Federation Force, terrible, terrible video. Analysis indicates wiring damage in three crucial areas. Not really terrible video. Terrible Metroid game, sorry. All right. Uh, hostiles are likely a source of damage. Unable to repair system. Got it. What about these pods? Okay. Entertaining. Wee. Sorry. Uh, pay more attention. Uh, let's scan that. Then we need to step into it. Map station, yes. Give me map. Do do do. Damn right. Okay. Great so far. I, again, remember practically nothing about this game. Well, I played the original Metroid Prime a couple times. Uh, I, yeah, I absolutely have never played through this game. All the way through. I, uh, I felt it wasn't Metroid-y enough and I stopped, so this will be a first... Uh, casualty report station A. Three troopers lost. We're unable to open grate 1A. And the gas trapping age could not escape to safety. Lock malfunction to blame. Hmm. All right. Well, in that case, let's move on. Well, that explains what those are. Scan this first. Terminated bioform. Standard human. Fatal wounds. Uh, Galactic Federation assault weapon. Trooper was killed by friendly fire. Whatever on uh, accident or not remains to be seen. Friendly fire. Amazing. Standard human. Uh, died of cardiac arrest. Chemicals on the body, extreme fear at time of death. Really? New creature. Worker splinter, uh, soar drone of splinter hive, low threat, generates webbing for use in duties. Okay, a couple more of these guys. Terminated bioform, human, cause of dif difficult to determine, digestive uh, fluid present within armor, subject is being broken down to simpler matter for consumption by local predators. Terminated bioform, standard human, cause of death, excessive blunt trauma to numerous critical points. Bioscans indicate there were at least 30 individual troopers. Your scanner can detect fear, yes. But when they have extreme fear, they tend to piss themselves. Standard human, high levels of an unknown toxin, numerous micropunctures, uh, trace elements of toxin present in the surrounding areas. Okay. Kill these drones. Hey. Right. So, sometimes you'll need to look around to find your targets. Yes. I get that. Damn. The physics on this. The physics! That's not normal. 
I, this level of physics is not normal in, in a game like this. I'm scared. Okay, let's break this down. Damn right. Okay, I guess we can go. Looks like hostels are there. What do we got? New lore, everyone! Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Login tree. Bennett. Logbook awaiting further review. Really? <clears throat> There's something wrong with the lock system in this section. They failed twice, locking us out until someone came along to let us in. If this happens again, while well, we're playing, quote unquote, bait for these things, it uh, at least will go out fighting instead of hiding in the control area. Yes. There we go. Really? Security panel offline. Unable to access controls. Restore power to system. New lore. All right, it's Reeves. Transferred to your logbook for further review. Let's do it. I don't like this plan. The hive is a small portion of a larger network. There may be dozens of hive systems like this across the planet. They may be l all linked. Destroying this one may buy us time, but it may also provoke the other hives into attacking. I believe it. Oh, goodness. That glorious, glorious morph ball. Good stuff. Yes. Okay. They ran away. There's more to scan here, I see. Last scan complete. Dura life signs. Uh, armor computer heavily damaged. Unable to recover log entries. Wait a second. You were able to recover these log entries. What about the guys back here? I want to know. I want to know if you're able. Okay, no. Apparently, these guys don't get logs. Their armor's too degraded. But this, these guys right here. They got their full armor still on, so they get their log entries. What's that? Wow. Zero life signs. Recently terminated. 242 wounds from trooper high energy weapons detected. Okay. Yeah, these are... Yeah, there's no log entries on that. Let's read this. Attempts to block enemy access have been in vain as they bypass gates and shields by burrowing through the earth nearby. Yes. They weren't important enough to have logs. Of course not, but you can tell that they're, they're missing chunks of armor. These guys have, like, full armor. So it makes sense that um, they could, in theory, have logs. Let me check something quick. On. Check the wall here. Okay, there is... Looks like I can scan on the other side. So let's see what that is all about. Security breach, multiple areas, all units full alert. Command and control center been compromised. God, these Federation guys, they are... Uh, they are quite dead. Oh, well. At least we can jump in morph ball mode. That's a small price to pay. What? Has nothing to do with it? Okay. I guess that's it. Yeah, no no logs. Gotta bomb this. Oh, I thought we had to bomb that. Turns out we didn't. There we go. That's the bombing I was talking about. There are probably no space pirates here. This is another issue. 
as you can see. Scan complete. Armor, computer heavily damaged. And able to recover logs. Be able to shoot that and drop the corpse. Let him ragdoll. Terminated bioform, splinter, blunt trauma to critical areas, eliminated in close combat by unarmed troopers. These troopers just beat the shit out of them with their power, with uh, their little guns there. That's, I was going to say power fist, but it's just a gun. Terminated by a variety of weapons, and unknown biochemical residue appears on them. Got it. Bomb slot. Powered by system control unit. Insert a morph ball. Detonate. Okay. That's cool. Fine with that. Seems like it's the thing to do. Those ragdoll physics, though. Let's read the terminal. Engineer log status D. Let's see, installed one of the ship's reserve power cells here. Holding so far, but too much activity could knock it offline. I hope we doesn't come to that. Yes. Okay, let's hop on in. Good. We brought the other one back online. Yes. Can activate that terminal now. Assuming we're gonna piss everything off now. Ah! Zombies! It's spooky time! Yes? Hey, 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 hey! Dark Trooper! Dece uh, deceased uh, GF soldier. Bioscans indicate. Life signs in this trooper in presence of unknown biomass. Oof. The Dark Trooper. Remember um, Star Wars Dark Forces, the video game? They, these are zombies. They, they are not... Now look at this thing. Wow. Just look at that. Weapon systems remain on... Oh, there's more information here. Interesting. Yeah, that's that's exciting. Hold on. Bio scans indicate um, that parasitic tendencies. Got it. Armor was compromised. Bulk of it remains intact. Weapon systems online. Okay. Low agility and response time. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Zombies. Damn. You're, you're not doing well. Got him. They turned back to zero life sign. Okay, never mind. They faded away and I, I picked up on a different one. Oh, what's this say? It's offline. Got it. So we got forces to fight. All those troopers. Yep, here they come. Serious business. It's dark aether possessing them, but I don't know that yet, so I'm just gonna assume zombies. Right. Damn those ing, I mean mysterious unknown entities. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I may have gotten further than I thought. Like, I may have actually beaten this game at some point. I just think I didn't. And I definitely thought this wasn't metroid -y enough. But so far, so far, good. Misremembering is good, I guess. Uh, gate control system restored. Moving gate into position. Here we go. Great. That's, this is just so mysterious. I love it. Look at that. Zombie Federation Troopers. 
That's glorious and perfectly spooky for this time of year. Don't trust any of this. That's yeah, fine. Foggy room. Extra locked. Ah, oh, crap. It's Dark Samus. That's Metroid Prime inhabiting Samus's phase on suit. If we got the super secret ending of Metroid Prime. One, we would have seen uh, Dark Samus emerge. Unfortunately, Target was caught in a power cell explosion. Destroyed 72% of its biomass. Yeah, it's, that's frightening. Okay. Yes. Cardiac arrest due to electrocution. What's this? <laughs> Dimensional anomaly. Seems to be a dimensional rift. Teleport destination unknown. I see. Time to go fight Dark Samus. Or just get murdered by uh, whatever's in there. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to instantly kill you. I haven't loaded these shaders yet. There they are. See, Dark Samus is uh, nourishing some phase on here. Remember, remember, Metroid Prime was the source of all phase on on the previous planet. Crystal got destroyed, which means Kingdom Hearts time, don't you know? Time to get Metroided. Yep. Yep, we just got Metroided. They wrecked us. See, battle suit. Gear condition stolen, yes. See, gear was stolen. Jump, space jump thrusters offline. Grapple beam offline. Morph ball boost unit offline. Power bomb generator offline. Missile launcher offline. Morph ball bomb module offline. All remaining systems online and active. See, Metroided. All right, gate system's offline. That's why I was kind of confused why I didn't have the gravity suit from the previous game and the various beams. I figured we'd never get the beams back, but they didn't want to include those beams in the game at all because it'd be a waste to never use them again after you get the you know light and dark beams. So, um, right, hold on a second. What do we got here? Now this is complete. Uh, alloy destabilized. Okay, so in other words, you can uh, you can morph ball bomb that in theory, but we can't. Don't worry about it. Well, more of you guys. Yes. So we got more zombies here. Spooky, spooky uh, zombie soldiers. We're 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 destroying zombies. It's it's not that we're killing humans. They're zombies. They even fade away when you kill them. Hey, what what do you got? You uh, oh, life signs none. The door there. It even opens. Hold on. Back off. 
We've got a life up, but I don't have the heavy... Oh, never mind. Charge beam's good enough to do that. Okay. Huh. What's this? Relay connected elevator. Step into the hologram. Yes. Nintendo friendly zombies, exactly. They're already dead, who cares? Uh, we saw life signs, so. Platform active. Got it. Save location. Really? I'll be taking that, thanks. Save me some game. Though, I do notice she already has her Varia suit on, and that bugs me as well. You'd think she'd lose that when the Ing, like, wrecked her. But no. She's got it. I'm used to there being a lot of, like, space pirate stuff in all the save rooms. And I notice there isn't. And that already is throwing me off. You know, it was Metroid Prime 3 that wasn't Metroid-y enough. Metroid Prime 2, I, I'm, this is starting to come back to me. This is starting to come back to me. And it's Metroid Prime 3 that wasn't Metroid-y enough. Metroid Prime 2 is a, a good game that I haven't played since it first came out. So I'll remember nothing about it. Good to know. Good to know I was wrong. Like, I, I'm very happy to be wrong when it comes to the quality of a game being uh, less than I thought it was. Like, I'm, I'm okay with that, because I like good games, okay? I really do. All right. Cannot translate alien text. Huh, interesting. They even... It's a three-dimensional word. God, no wonder you can't translate it. Scan me a thing. Yes. Love that little Federation symbol they got on that gate. I'm not a huge fan of how the gate clips through the ceiling, but... Is that a Ridley? <laughs> it isn't a Ridley, but it looked like one. Uh, can I scan the red thing? Let's scan the big thing first. A uh, scanning rain. Great. There we go. Uh, Federation combat. Got it. So, um, lift system used by troopers to assemble structures. Powerful winch systems. Moves objects carefully. So. Mm hmm. Got it. You know if anyone ever guessed Samus' secret? Well, I mean, in Japan, they just use gender neutral statements and then, you know. Revealed it at the end. Um, in the uh, American version, uh, sorry, in the the international release in the instruction manual, they flat out deceive the player. They trick them by using he. Yes, yeah, scan visor provides useful information. That's good, but I wanted to go up there. Yes, it, I, I get it. You're wanting me to scan things. Too bad. Incomplete, can't be destroyed, must be moved. How about this. Let's see, made of the strongest metals in the cosmos, cannot be destroyed. Really? Good, good, good. Mm hmm. Now, now, now. Um, Metroid fandom can go fuck off. Um, in the original um, version of the booklet, they used neutral. Um, statement like it was gender neutral and, and then um they mis they intentionally misled people in the uh international version of it i believe i, I hey if, if someone wants to go into it and look at it for me that would be great you know read the japanese version that'd be fine but you know Ooh, little gate there yeah uh, copy pasting quotes is not good unless they come from specific people and not wikis wikis don't count 
All right. Mark two bridge. Very good. Red didn't exist by the, at then, so you imagine it surprised quite a few. Well, not only did Reddit not exist, but e even then, like, before Reddit, GameFAQs would have spread the information. Uh, so we're talking about... This was before the mainstream internet was a thing at all. It wasn't just Reddit. It was... Like, the, you got your information either from your friends in real life or from a magazine. And uh, the magazines didn't, you know, they're usually, what, on a, a one to two month delay? You got your info from Nintendo Power. Now you're playing with power. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Uh, let me really quick just uh, hit this. I want to see if it has more information. Oh, interesting. Mark three should be inter service in the next eight cycles. That is a lot of extra information. I, I'm impressed. Hold on a second. Let, let me. Uh, there is no information about it, is there? No, that. There, there's no information about it. Okay. I thought maybe there would be extra info there. Let's just scan this and proceed. But you're right. Nintendo Power was the source of a lot of people's information, but that came a bit later. Um, now, I mean, if we want to get the actual text of the Japanese, uh, I, I'm, I'm curious now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious because, uh, Game Informer, well, Ga <sighs> GameStop's nearly dead, so, yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm really quick just going to go, uh... Super Met, uh, sorry, uh, Metroid, Super Famicom, uh, not Super Famicom, just Famicom, and then uh, Manual. Right. Okay, so in the international version, they flat out talk about how Samus is a he. But, and, and I could be wrong on this point, but uh, yeah, he is the greatest of all bounty hunters. I, 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 I'd, love, I'd love to know, but I, I believe that the international release used he, and then the uh, Japanese version used neutral uh, statements to basically be like, mm, you know, they, uh, th that person. You know that, uh, the, oh, oh uh, I, I, I'm missing the word. I'm blanking on the word. I'll hear it in Japanese and know it, but I, I forget about it now. Let's actually pay attention to this stuff, because this bug looks interesting. Yeah. Do -do. Uh, I, uh, God damn, I'm trying to remember the, the word, but there, there's a word that literally means that person, and it, it's so generic, and they use it frequently in... Um, in Japanese to uh, be to be mysterious with things. Like, it, it's used badly in most in a lot of Japanese fiction, and I know the word. Yeah, that individual exactly. Um, but th there's a specific word, and yeah, it, it, <laughs> yeah. All right, they could have also used that person. Yeah, I, I like how. Uh, you just gave a word that means nothing. Yes. You read that in Japan didn't use pronouns? Yes. Yep. Okay. My point is they... I was certain they didn't actively mislead um, the people in the Japanese text. And they purposefully misled the people in the international text. Either way, what kind of bug is this? The green... Uh, okay, okay, it's a hunter-gatherer. And it's a simple-minded creature. It avoids physical contact. So it's a cousin to the dimension-shifting... Dimension-shifting? Jeez. Uh, it's in search for food. Um... Genetic defect prevents its back crystal from harnessing energy and opening warp portals. It's doubtful it misses this ability. All right. What about referring to Samus as an it? Oh my. 
Well. Hello, what are you? A splinter. Uh, aggressive and dangerous. Yes. Her suit was far less feminized. Well, yes. <laughs> That's, uh... Let's see. Ooh. When it wasn't hunting, it secretes a protective cocoon around itself, enter a state of hibernation. Uh, seismic disturbances will awaken it, triggering a blood frenzy in this state. It emits pheromones that trigger a frenzy in all nearby splinters, causing a pack of sleeping... Uh, yeah, disturbing a pack of sleeping splinters is not advisable. Yes. Go, 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 go! But the sad part is, a vast majority of people only know uh, Samus from Super Smash Brothers. And, um... Heels. Battle heels. Th these are how she gets back up. She does a double jump using these, these high heel jets, like Bayonetta's uh, gun shoes. Yeah, that's dumb. Giving her heels like that. Terrible. Yes. What's this? Interface with door control system. Translator files. So we need to be able to translate this text. Fine. We kill these creatures. Yes. You said they weren't in, in in on the secret, so their translation ended up misleading. No. They had the complete game there. I, unless someone tells me otherwise, I, I'm going to believe... Uh, uh, like, I, I, okay, th there's an adage people, you know... Uh, ahem, never attribute to malice what can be adequately explained by stupidity. However... Um, because they, um, they already had the whole game by then. So, uh, yep. You said they haven't made a Metroid game in so long people only know her from Smash. Yes, exactly. Disengaged. There we go. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. Wait, why did that even open? I don't understand. Bridge lock disengaged. Just, oh, the locks are up there. Got it. Crush. Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of people who, uh... Wait, you're playing a first-person shooter? I thought you only played Elder Scrolls games. Okay. Ooh. What do we got here? Ooh, quite dead. Veroni. What about Veroni? I think Haley's losing it. He talks to himself all the time. He won't sleep. He almost shot me on watch the other night. I think he thought I was one of those things. I, I talked to the doc about taking him off the line. And he told me we need all the help we can get. That's true. But if he goes berserk and kills a bunch of us, it won't be very helpful. Okay. That won't be very helpful at all. My goodness.
There's that crystal lock again. What do we get? Temple Grounds. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I need to update the metadata. Thanks for reminding me. Yep. Uh, finished uh, Prime 1. On to Prime 2. Remember almost nothing about this game. There we go. That should do it. Updated the metadata for the stream. We're good. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. What are you? Oh, you're just another splinter, okay. I thought for a second that this was something important. What, what's this lock? Blast shield. Uh, missiles shot may damage it. Do we have missiles? No, we have no missiles. Uh, let me see here. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Splinters. Got it. I think that's the door mechanism. Try jumping up here, though. I'm curious. Uh, nope, too far away. God, these corners, though. I, I'm, I'm liking this layout. Like, the level design's pretty fun. A lot of nooks and crannies to explore. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, scan that. Heavy transport crate. Got it. So we need to activate a thing to... Yep. Winch engaged. Go. I like how it breaks halfway, letting you do whatever you want. Really? Heavy transport crate cannot be destroyed. System critical. Bam! There's me, bridge. There's me, bridge. Tell me about it. Receiving power. Control system activated. Systems are borderline critical. Yeah, it, it, is fa it has failed. Past tense. What's this? Destroyed splinter cocoon? Interesting. Only the shell remains. Got it. What we got here? I thought that was maybe a crate. In fact, all these little devices tell me that stuff happens here. We're gonna go across the way, though. Fine. Oh, that's fun. Scanning. Uh, defense great. Mark 7. Denisium invulnerable to uh, most high end weapons. Okay. Let me see. Remote scan with access panel. Okay. Fine by me. Whoops. Back out of that. Keep hitting the wrong button. Because, you know, genius. What's this? Denisium. Got it. So we have to learn what weapon destroys that particular material type. And that's how we'll uh, get around these obstacles. Protocols. Uh, some gates will remain locked down to prevent future incursions. Okay. So in other words, it closes and opens certain ones. Well, hello. That's fine. Break a hive. I see how this works. When you switch this, it closes the way behind you. What we got here? Hello! Hmm. 
Can't go up there right now. I'm sure I could if I abused physics a little bit, but let's not. Hello. Lore. Federation Marine. Uh, let's see. We're making our stand here. The engineer... Well, Kane, thank you for subscribing. All right, so <clears throat> we'll make our stand here. The engineer tells me there's no way we'll get the ship's engines online and atmospheric interference is scrambling our distress beacon. Uh, if anyone reads this, no, we did our duty and fought well. Okay, that's force number two. Let's go scan this other stuff before we activate the thing. Oh, hello. They're getting revived. Zombies. Yes. Good. The zombies are defeated. Let's go back this way. Damn Federation zombies. Mm-hmm. We get here. System activated. Very good. Where does that connect to? A signal beacon? Satellite dish. What is it doing? I'm confused. Transmission failed due to atmospheric interference. Okay, so if we want to send a signal to the Federation, we're going to have to get through this. Yes. that uh -huh. biostructures have been compromised by burrowing predators tunnel leads to the control area yep hello what are you a growler class turret automated defense system lightly armored used for point defense Fast turrets can evade its track. Okay, fast targets can evade its tracking system. That's good. Okay, so let's see. Several copies of the system exist, including the Space Pirate Humility Class automated turret. Interesting. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, about that. Excellent. No pickups for me. Just looking at this ridiculous thing here. Okay. So, defensive barrier there. I, I agree, though. Being able to scan everything is one of the best parts of the Prime Trilogy. I, uh, I love the scanning ability. It really makes the world feel lived in. Um, hello. There we go. Galactic Federation Marine Corps... All right, let's ha read his log. This is ridiculous. I, I can outshoot half the men here, and I'm stuck on monitor duty. I didn't sign up to stare at a hollow screen. This uh, wouldn't happen to Samus Aran. She'd be out there taking care of business, not pushing buttons and sending reports. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Considering Samus gets contracted to do this stuff, they pay her quite well. Yeah, he got action, all right. Definitely did. Oh, jeez, you see that? That there is frightening. Hmm. There we go. Ooh, Federation gunship? Damn right, it's the GFS tire, uh, tier. An Anther class ship. 
used to transport Galactic Federation Marines. Vessel sustained heavy combat damage. Hmm. Let's see here. Ooh. All right. Uh, police defend uh, systems. The ship has been heavily damaged. Okay, so yeah, makeshift defense systems. I oh, got it. Do you think you can condense Elder Scrolls lore as a whole down to an hour? You could condense Elder Scrolls lore down to like 10 minutes if you want to do like in a minute style. Um, I mean, you, you, not the whole of the lore, but like all the important parts. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. Be a bit. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you have to skip a lot of incidental stuff, but if you just stick to the important things and you talk really fast, yeah, you could do it. I mean, there are people who cover uh, stuff, stuff, quote unquote, in a minute. Uh, that was uh, Total Biscuit, by the way. Awesome guy. All right. Go check out the ship. What do we get? Final report. What's your final report? Tell me. While on patrol in the unknown system, you engage space pirate frigate. There are space pirates here. Got it. Enemy frigate was crippled and crashed on the target Aether. And we landed. We followed the pirates, but our ship was damaged by a storm as we entered the atmosphere. Kind of like Samus' ship. Got it. Oh no! Heavy magnetic uh, activity disabled our systems. Split into two units, one op space, one to repair. Each unit was doing fine, no problems. Until they appeared. The dark ones. Yes. I love that music. You're closing in fast. Need backup. Need backup. It does mess with the compression. It's not just Twitch. It's the actual encoder that's screwing up. Damn, you're getting eaten. Those are the dark ones that screwed up Samus's uh, equipment. Damn, damn, damn. Well, didn't turn out well for you. Whoa, those eyes. There we go then. Yeah, it's not just Twitch's com uh, compression, it's the actual MPEG. Um, Codic. I just can't keep up. Are you a zombie yet? I thought that guy was going to turn to a zombie. In fact, if we scan him. Federation Marine Hero. Oh, Captain! Really? The Captain? I mean, you think it was a really bad idea coming down here. I was just right. Just, uh, that hive is just one of many. It's stupid to stir up a hornet's nest, especially if you plan on sleeping under it. Okay. Let's have a look-see. Scan this. Yep. It's memory core is damaged, unable to restore access. That's unfortunate. Like, there's targets over there. New thing to scan. Ordnance crate. Presence of weapon system within the crate. Heavy force required to eliminate the crate. Hit this guy next. 
All right. Man, I hope it was only that this was the only breeding ground. I, yeah, if there are more, we're in big trouble. Hard enough time taking this one out of commission. Almost ran out of ammo. I never run out of ammo. Uh, let's see. I hear them. Everywhere. They're coming. Can't sleep ever. They'll eat me. Eat. Oh, that guy's gonna turn to a zombie. Uh, anyone else? I could I could question whether they'll turn to a zombie. This guy. Wait. The yeah, eyes ahead. For a second, I thought he was headless. I'm like, no, he won't turn to a zombie. But you know, now all bets are off. Right. Let's see here. Who's the last? So he switched watch duty with me. I figure this section is nice and safe and boring, which suits me just fine. Let those other pugs guard some hot zone. Uh, hey. Whoa, whoa. Transmission ends. All right. Sarge says these splinters remind him of some killer bug he saw another planet once. All I know is these things are fast and take a lot to drop. Pretty soon we'll have to go uh, to bayonets. Everyone's low on ammo, even Brode. He's the stingiest grunt I know. Wow, it's missing a side there. I thought maybe this would be like a fully functional ship just missing its engines and we could re restore it and everything, but no. Let's scan the chair. Ah, pilot. Commanding officer. Cool if I could get in that seat. See the holographic displays offline. Makes sense though, you don't have windows on the front of your ship, otherwise you're just begging to have the window shattered unless you can make it as hard as metal let's see oh interesting so you can scan these and it's all of the troopers who are designated to those spots okay squad leader yep medic and trooper tech very good tech yeah, we, we get to see all the names of all the troopers who are around to confirm, oh, well, we haven't scanned that person yet. That's very cool. Okay. Let's see. Doors in open position. Map station access granted. Excellent. I would like the map, please. Thank you. Yep. Download the map data. Okay, so now we have the map data for this entire section. That's pretty good. That is a decent amount of uh, space to cover. I'm impressed. I like how Dark World is an option on the map. That's kind of a spoiler, isn't it? I mean, oh no, no, we've been to the Dark World once already when we got Metroided. But still, I don't know about this. Interface with door, cannot translate alien text. Analysis complete, powered art. Huh, combat damage appears final, repairs are unlikely. Really? Oh, another guy. Right. Franny. Last night at Chow. Uh, Agus Agaseth. Yes, Angseth. Starts talking about some bounty hunter and how she blew up a planet of full of space pirates. You mean Super Metroid? I told her... I didn't believe in fairy tales like that. And she took it personal. I just find it hard to believe that one person 
took out an entire space pirate base. If she wants to believe this Samus or Bigfoot or Santa Claus, she can. Damn. It's interesting how these are all connected logs. Yeah. That's very interesting. This game takes place before Super Metroid, but she blew up the planet. Remember, Other M doesn't exist. So, uh... Let's see here. Besides, Meta Ridley doesn't make sense if this takes place before Super Metroid. If Ridley was already cyberized, how can he come back? Like, fully fleshed out. He blew up Talon? She didn't blow up Talon, she blew up a... a little base! The temple exploded! I mean, I, I get it, the official timeline may say Super Metroid, uh... takes place, uh, after all of this, but still doesn't make much sense. Let me see here. Then again, are we expecting a Nintendo timeline to make sense? I'm looking at you, Legend of Zelda. Let's make these entirely separate games Final Fantasy style and then create a fake timeline to try to connect them. Because that isn't confusing at all. Oh god, that origin story was... I mean, here's the thing. Skyward Sword isn't actually a bad story. It's just a bad origin story. Okay. Um... Power wasn't yeah, restored to orb, okay. You know, locked in firing position. Go up. Oh! We get shot over there, don't we? Yep. Boom! That is hilarious and oddly specific. But no, Talon still existed. She didn't blow up the planet. Do I know the Mario timeline? All right. So the Mario, um, okay, the Mario timeline um, starts out with a guy named Jumpman, who is both supposed to both be Mario and Mario's dad, depending on uh, which uh, timeline you're looking at or which which game you know, like uh, which which canonical timeline you you care about. So, uh, Jumpman, uh, goes to save Pauline from Donkey Kong. And, uh, th then in the remakes, it's, it's just Mario. Yes. There isn't a Mario timeline. Yes, exactly. But don't worry, because Mar uh, Jumpman turns uh, into Mario and then is evil. Well, how does that work? Don't question it. Trust me. It's inconsistent and retcon, to put it like that. So it's best not to think of Ma Mario as a timeline. Otherwise, there's it's bad. Analysis indicates the blast shield is uh, vulnerable to most weapons. A power bomb is needed. So this is a power bomb door. Interesting stuff. Hmm. Well, that's cool and all, but how do we get to a scannable, which will get us to the next section? That's what I want to know. I think it might have been up there. I screwed up. You're surprised Sonic has better writing. Um, uh, that's that's a a difficult a difficult statement to make. I would I would argue against that statement a bit. 
uh, as a dr sweeping general statement. If you believe continuity is everything, then yes. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Nothing over here. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't know what to say about this. Missiles for me? Missiles for me! Thank God! That was what was missing. Yes. That was it. Ang! New creatures. Dark splinters. Darklings possessed by an... Uh, yeah, darkling possessed insectoid predator. The alien symbiote within. Augments and strengthens its durability. Threat level is raised. Very good. Yep. Concentrate weapon fire will concentrate weapon fire will damage the target. Yes. All right. So in other words, it needs to be shot a lot, like that. Come on. Good. Damn, damn, damn. We got him. That was it. Okay, I know where to go now. Up and over. So we were supposed to break that ordnance crate. Then we go down here. That'll shoot us up there. Incredibly dumb. Then we jump over here. And shoot it at a missile at it. Very good. What have we got? Alright. Danny's! I'm the only one left. I managed to get out of the hive. But when I got to the ship, everyone was gone. Dead. I'm heading for that alien building we saw earlier. Maybe someone can help me. Wait, there's something moving. Hello! And you're dead. I don't like logs that are written at the moment of uh, a character's death. All right. Interface method is unknown. Control unit not present. All right. Let's go down this tube. You're blocking the tube, aren't you? There's only one way to go. Hello. Excuse me. Instead of... Yeah, there we go. War wasp? Wait a second. We fought war wasps on the other planet. On Talon. He has venomous stinger... Capable of shearing steel. Uh, can fire blasts of energy at foot. Well, war wasps didn't use to fire energy. What's happening here? What's going on? All right. Well, that's a thing. So it dive bombs its enemy with the stinger extended. Uh, fast working toxins from the stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. If it battles foes um, at range, it'll fire blasts of energy. Yeah, I think these are the the dark, the aether types, not the um, yeah. The, the Talon Four ones are very different, apparently. Hmm. What's this? A storage device. Got it. In other words, get missiles back. That's what the game says. What's this? Oh. Uh, kinetic orb cannon. Got it. In other words, activate it. Then, uh, kaboom. There's the scan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Auto fire it is. That's fine. You like like how there are uh, 
Maybe the space pirates brought them. You think they were in the space pirate vessel that crashed? War I mean, a war wasp hive might have been attached. Uh, okay, I, I will... I can suspend my disbelief and say that a war wasp hive was attached to the pirate vessel that came from Talon. That might have been a thing. In which case, they reproduced really fast. Yeah, because that's a war wasp hive right here. Yep. Destroying the structure will exterminate the wasps inside. Very good, very good. Mm-hmm. Do-do. Okay. I like how cocoons are their own uh, classification of uh, thing. There we go. No more war wasps for me. Thank you very much. I prefer them dead and gone. That's another cannon? Yeah, that's another cannon. Can't use it, though. Need to find a scanning spot. What's this? Oh, it's a destroyed war wasp hive. Got it. Only the shell remains. What the hell is that? Oh, it's structurally unsound. Explosive damage. Wow. Pissed off a couple war wasps, but no big deal. There's the scanning spot. Got it. And then it can restored. Wait, it's broken, isn't it? Yep, combat damage to the wall is heavy. Structural integrity critical. Damn it, war wasps. Why are you still alive? I like how the charge beam was arbitrarily just the thing that survived. Hmm. I mean, it's useful. Ooh, rails. Gotta love those. Uh -huh. No thanks. Is that... Target's been dead for eight cycles. Uh, trace amount of unknown chemical in target. As similar to mummification on dead biomatter. Further analysis required to determine effects on uh, chemicals effect on biomatter. Okay. That's fine. Looks good. I'll head under the temple now. Assuming that's where I need to go, yes. Hey. This is looking familiar. Yep. Up we go. A little more up than I expected. So that's a much better elevator scene than the other game. Great temple. For great story progression, I assume. Oh, dead. Target's been dead for 8.1 cycles. Despite the presence of local animals, the corpse has not been disturbed. Scan suggests the presence of a toxic biochemical within the target that may explain the lack of carrion feeding. Brain uh, bioscan complete. Target's been dead. Great point. Cycles, target size and muscle mass suggest heavy combat training. Likely a warrior of some kind. The lack of gear, armor, weapons is curious. Perhaps they were taken by others of its kind. Okay. Scan that. Good. Just wanted to scan that really quick. Scanning that circular thing. Device is part of a compromised security system. Only basic door systems remain online. Wow. Uh, 
let's see, active power cables. I can't scan those things. Hmm. It's basically saying, hey, there's something over here you should check out. Like a save room. Uh, planetary cycles um, are different depending on how fast the planet rotates on its axis. Uh, or not on its axis, sorry. Um, on its axis is the day. Cycles are how long, it, you know, a year is, basically. So, how long it takes to rotate around the sun. Huh. Fallic alloy. Now, gonna take a harder weapon than just that. That's interesting, though. Then we'll be encountering something fancy soon. Unable to scan objects, scrambling wave. Field is localized. Oh, great. So we're gonna have to fight, aren't we? I mean, think about it. If it if the planet has a bigger orbit, it'll take longer for the planet to complete its orbit. Oh, here we go. Hibernetic stasis chambers. Bioforms. Um, Holding steady, chambers are made of exotic materials. It would be quite difficult to breach them with conventional weapons. How is time tracked in a spacefaring society? That's a very good question. These are all cryopods. Here behind these shields. Pretty interesting. Look at the faces. Those are the faces of the Luminoth, I assume. Wait, I'm not supposed to know that name yet. Of, of the strange, spooky aliens. I played this before just a long, long time ago. And it was new. I see. Splinters. Is that a splinter hive? A dark... Dark splinter hive. Got it. Cursed! This game is cursed! Actually, come to think of it, this is a rogue planet, isn't it? Which means it doesn't rotate. It just hurtles through space. Which means, where's the sun coming from? There's all sorts of problems with this assessment of it being a rogue planet. Maybe it isn't a rogue planet and I just read it wrong. I'm good at reading things wrong. I read a lot, and I do it wrongly the first time, usually. Oh, hello, big one. Here we go. Alpha Splinter. Alpha of a male war pack. Gigantic predator, very swift and strong. Uses ramming attacks to defeat foes. Interesting. So yes. All right. Yes. That's how it was. Oh, no. You dodged me, you bastard. You're supposed to take those missiles and choke on them. The spookiness is coming for the Alpha. Gonna empower it with the power of the darkness. Dark Alpha. Yeah. So, that didn't change very much, did it? Splinter Alpha males are the first to be targeted for Darkling possession. Uh, Dark Alpha Splinters grow in strength and durability, making them even harder threat than normal. Got it.
thing started spitting at me and I hit him with a missile. I'm actually out of missiles. Yes. Look, I get it. You're shooting uh, miraculous energy. You say it has its own energy source. Why sky appears bright? No, it doesn't explain it. But yeah, if it's a rogue planetoid, then uh, that's really bizarre and everything should be frozen over. Here we go. I guess the energy of Aether somehow gives it a bright sky? I don't know. We defeated the Dark Splinter, though. That's the important thing. Did we just get one of our powers back? I think we did. Let's scan it. Scan it, tell me what it is. Unknown technology. Technology. Technology? Hey, look, listen. Oh no, it's a, it, I was gonna do a Navi joke there. Unknown item acquired. Alien technology bonded with armor systems. Threat scan complete. No negative impact on suit performance. Okay. Don't worry about it. It probably lets us read things, I imagine. Let's go out this... Wait a second. There are four directions. That's one. The others are locks. Okay. This is the correct path. That is freaked out. Well, that isn't right. Okay, fine. We'll move on. We'll move on. We'll go forward. I just was hoping I could go back down and save it. I uh, tend to do that in my video games. This. Enable interface with door. Enable interface with door. Yeah, I was gonna say Coruscant days. Why not? Get yourself a Carillion Corvette and forget about everything else. Okay, something's a bit weird here. I got a mysterious thing. And I don't know what that mysterious thing does. But I guess I have to leave considering I can't go either way. I, I'll try to use the elevator again. Take me down. Yes. Don't know anywhere else to go. But it's taking me up further. Yes. Oh, I think it's time. Time for story. Do not be afraid. I am Umo, Sentinel of the Luminoth. Please listen and hear our world's peril. Yes, hear of our word, world's peril. Serious business. Long ago, a cosmic uh, object fell on our planet Aether, exploding with a great force. A rift was torn in time and space, and a strange power flowed out over the world. See, here's the thing. It was supposed to be a Leviathan seed that hit the planet. I get that, because I know the storyline, kind of. What bothers me is that it basically created Metroid Prime in the previous, you know, game. But in this game, it somehow tore the planet in two? Like, what? What? I know, it's just weird. Okay. Uh... Once there was one Aether, now there are two. One of light, one in shadow, each in its own dimension. 
Uh, it was an end to the peace on Ether, for a new race was born that day in the dark world, one filled with hate and terrible power. They are the Ing. Yeah, I, I just, I don't get it how you go from Phazon to darkness. It's, it's weird. I get, they want to do the light and dark theme, it's just annoying. The Ing are creatures of shadow and darkness, knowing nothing of peace or mercy. Yes. Said, well, it's a game, so it doesn't matter much. Well, yes, but that's not the point of view I approach things from. I, uh, I approach things from the point of view of it's an interactive storytelling medium. However, uh, continuity matters. And when continuity breaks, then the integrity of the work is compromised. And so, you know, it's a game for kiddos is, is, is nice. But can't it have continuity and be a game for kiddos? I think it can. I think it's a game so it doesn't matter is an excuse for someone who doesn't want to think about it. That's fine for you. Let's continue. So for decades we stood against them, yet now we lie on the verge of defeat. When Dark Aether was born, our planetary energy was divided. For half of our world, half of theirs. Doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Well, there had to have been something inherent in Aether to begin with to cause the Phazon to affect it differently. Because the Phazon should be, um, um, the Phazon should be corrupting the land and, uh, causing things to get stronger and bigger, not, uh, ripping a hole in dimensions and creating a second plane of existence. So obviously something existed on Aether, and by the way, Nintendo didn't make this, so, uh, just a heads up on that. Um, now... Uh, as I was saying, um, so th something had to have uh, happened. Uh, I, like so Aether had to have some sort of weird property to begin with, which caused the Phazon's interaction to split the dimensions. Like Aether had to have had something special about it to begin with. So uh, yes. Either way. Uh, <clears throat> Should one gain control of this energy, the other will perish. So in other words, it's a big deal. And you get to choose. Do you want to side with the Ing or Luminoth? Just kidding. You always side with the light. Before you arrived, the Ing had stolen a device from us, one that collects the planetary energy. With it, they have weakened our planet to the verge of collapse. But fortune smiled us upon this day. For the energy transfer module is now bonded to you. With it, you can help us restore our world. You're our only hope, Samus. I need to really quick. Uh, g give me a second here. This is. I just need to to really quick uh, make a make a screenshot of this. That'll do it. Good. So uh, help us. Uh, Help us, uh, Sammy. Uh, you're our only hope. There we go. Yes. Uh, should we fall, the Ing will look to the stars for new plants to ra uh, ravage and conquer. Your species could be their next victims. Yes. Uh, let's see, the Ing have taken our energy to three temples on Dark Aether. These temples and transfer the energy from them to our own. Got it. We can do that. I've updated your map systems with the location of their temple. There is knowledge there that can help you along your way. In other words, power-ups. I've also updated uh, your translator module. You can now access devices and doors with the violet holograms. 
So basically, we got the uh, the plasma beam. Uh, sorry, not plasma. The wave beam for the purposes of opening doors. Many lands are now open to you. Prepare for your journey. The Ing know you possess the energy transfer module. They will try to recover it at all costs. Defend the energy totems at all costs. Yeah, what if the Luminoth are actually the evil ones and are uh, using you to kill off an entire species? Yes. Wait the a minute. The aliens just infiltrated your HUD and installed uh, software without your permission? Uh, they technically transmitted the data to you and you were able to modify your HUD all on your own, but yeah. You basically have to enable the module. The power transfer module, on the other hand, did get uh, forcibly fused with your suit, and you don't know why. All right. Very good. Hey, Lumi. May the light of Aether shine upon you! Okay. Let's scan the Luminoth. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to fight you. I'll scan you. Luminoth, Umos. Subject Umos. Guardian of the Sacred Temple. Yeah, but I, I, I want to scan Umos, please. Thank you. Good. Umos is a sentinel. Beneficial abilities, including heightened reflexes, durability, psionics, and flight. Ability to generate and manipulate energy on par with that of the Chozo. Dating scans suggest age of 2.0. Uh, one five uh, centicycles known uh, active member Luminoth uh, locked in protective stasis until crisis resolved. So the other Luminoth are all sleeping. Makes sense to me. What's this? Energy controller regulates planetary energy. Uh, accessing the global network. Okay. Got it. So, energy controller. When Dark Aether was born, it had two energy controllers linked to the world's planetary energy. So when Dark Aether was born, it created a copy of that machine as well. Good to know. What's this? Let's see. Chamber holds a collection of several types of energy. Notable, including of uh, solar, bio, geothermal energy. And we'll measure the exact power levels with, the, with scan equipment. Okay. That's fine. That's a okay. What if I wanted to kill the Luminoth? You can't. Sorry. Let's scan this thing. Luminoth translated origins. Got it. It is told that the Luminoth were born not of Aether, but of the stars. In the early days, we roamed the greatness of the void, bathing in the glorious light of a thousand stars. We met a vast number of enlightened minds. Here in the Yala and the Chozo were among them. Each of them we found and claimed a home world. Okay. Um, deep uh, bond with it. In time, we decided to do the same. Got it. No, no, no. Senta cycles. A cycle is not a Senta cycle. Correct. He is Senta Cycles old. Luminoth lore projector is offline. Oh, so I sucked the lore out of it. That's funny. I'm assuming that's the only way. I love this music, by the way. Yeah, it's the only way out. Oh, we can get out of here now. We can access the violet holograms. Hmm. Pathway to Argon. Uh, Agon. Sorry, Agon. I was thinking of Argon crystals. Agon it is. A new place. What's this? Light flyer. Light generating light flyer. 
You see, Lightfarer's aggressive flying drone. Once loyal to Luminoth, it will now fire a burst of energy at any living thing in range. It generates light at all times, making it somewhat easy to target. Power beam! Good. God, that. Yep. Some of this stuff is very damaged. Very damaged. At least we're able to hit this with, uh. Yeah, charge shot seemed to work. To quote Vile from Mega Man. Not a charge shot. God. Uh, I, I both loved and hated Maverick Hunter X. Early 3D is terrible, though. And, uh, 2D is far better than early 3D. Low-quality low 3D, um, I'd rather have high-quality 2D, to be honest. Just saying. Scan it. There's some really good, like, Rayman 2. Yeah, but Rayman 2 is stylized. Compare a Mega Man X sprite to a Maverick Hunter 3D model, and you'll see what I mean. All right, down we go to the temple grounds. Arrived. The path of Agon. Get me back to where I was. Oh, I can scan this now. Yes. You may even find enlightenment and peace. Bam. Alright, we are free now to explore nothing. I mean, that's, yeah. It's virtual integrity at 99.6%. Uh, In other words, you can't destroy it. Sorry. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, nice little uh, splinters. They're going to get possessed immediately yes they're getting possessed immediately are you kidding me no delay the darkness just comes to overtake them that's funny yep I thought it was cooler when the Federation troopers had their bodies taken over. It would have been awesome if there was a second um, Federation ship and you find out like there's a whole like battalion that's been turned into, you know, evil space zombies. Okay. What is this? Energy tank, nice. Energy increased by 100. That's good stuff. Thanks, game. Probably should have scanned the energy tank before I ran over it, but that's neither here nor there. I've established I don't need to scan everything. Except for that. So, yes. Alternate energy source. I don't have it. I don't have the alternate energy source. Going back, though. Back to whatever. Are these things going to get possessed? No. They can't, actually. I realized just now they, they have... They are broken and no longer possess the ability to do that. I wish you could destroy that and gain access to the the real tunnel. Instead of using this little thing here. Oh, that was a bit of a loading screen that they forced on me. Okay. Back out to the main room. I'm assuming more darkness is coming. Just assuming the darkness. Don't worry about it too much. Probably a power bomb. Going back to the entrance. Up, oh, I was supposed to scan that. I was supposed to scan that up there. No. Oh, let's go this way. I know there's a thing over here for me. Yep, save point. I'll gladly take that save point now that I have uh, the ability to open blue uh, violet doors. Sorry. Violet doors. Good, though. Accomplished a lot. 
still doesn't feel as impactful as the space station number one, but I did like the zombie part. Where the Federation troopers started returning from the dead to kill me. I thought that was really cool. There we go. Uh, door systems online. Through vigilance, strength, we create peace. Sounds about right. Just take me back to my gunship. For vigilance and strength, we create peace. Yeah, it'll take me back. Excellent. Yep, we're back at our gunship. It's doing the self-repair still. I have a feeling it'll be doing the self-repair the entire game. We can't have you taking off in the ship now, can we? Oh, well. No big deal. Still really cool. That they brought us all the way back here. Where the game started. But this time we have the ability to turn to the side here and hopefully not that way. Hmm. Goodness gracious. I guess we're going to hop back down. Yep. Hop back down. Ha la la hop. What? Okay. I'm going to check this area out again. Now we've uh, done some proper scans. Should be able to progress through here. That talks in serious business. Yeah, we just need to keep going through here. We'll encounter more splinters. There they are, the hanging corpses. That's some frightening stuff, to be honest. Those hanging corpses. I thought it was really cool, but at the same time, it was a smidgen on the disturbing side. Okay. Let's keep going until we find what I'm looking for. Actually, let's blow up these crates. I feel like that might be a... They don't lead anywhere important. I thought maybe that there was going to be something over there. Don't think so, though. It was just a distraction. Okay. This is where I got Metroided. In this spot here. Yeah, it's, not an in it's not Nintendo, though. Nintendo didn't make this. That's an important distinction. Like, people keep saying Nintendo. This is rare. Nintendo only had some pretty specific demands, like um, the uh, ball, for example, needed to be nailed. If you can't nail the Morph Ball, then you're not going to make a Metroid game. That's flat out what they told Rare. And so Rare was set about the task of uh, making a, a good morph ball system. Otherwise, yeah. Ooh. But yes, I just need to, uh, yeah, a Nintendo franchise, yeah. I, I just absolutely need to clarify that because, uh, let me guess, that leads back down. Okay, I was going to say that people keep saying it's a Nintendo game. That um, that puts certain expectations. But, um, yeah, it's... Oh, let me go back this way for a second. I'm looking for something specific. I guess it leads us back out here. Alright, that's what I was looking for. Right here. Yep. Oh, dead Luminoth? What's happening? Really? Uh, datapad translated? 
Uh, let's see. Their army swells. Blast of rogue machines. Join the ranks of the horde. All eager to bring death to Luminoth. The Ings sent these new additions to the industrial site with me. They uh, watched from safety. Those cowardly mongrels. Only in... Uh, my only regret in death is I did not live to see the day of their defeat. May it come soon. Well... Oh. Yeah, the graphics have aged pretty well, but also remember that the graphics are enhanced because it's on PC. Everything's a bit sharper and crisper as a result of it being on PC. After all, rendering this thing in Vulcan. Hmm. That looks pretty cool. Looking at uh, the surroundings there. There's a scanning point here. Yep. Agon Wastes. Oh, geez. What's this? Lore. What is it? Our search for a home took us through the cosmos. For many, a great cycle we roamed. And yet a place to call our own eluded us in that time we began to despair feeling the search was in vain we considered remaining among the stars until a scout uh, reconnoitered with a news of a world unlike any other oh, we we then beheld aether for the first time so great was her beauty that we forsook the stars forever to live upon her surface from that day forth the luminoth were of aether our blessed paradise. Cool. All right, I'm, I'm an idiot. Thanks. Thanks, game, for dealing a slight amount of damage and teleporting me back. Let's go. Did the elevator just break? No, it just landed. Okay. I was worried. I was worried that it was broken for good. What is that? Agon, Veripod, storage units of the Luminoth, uh, hardy desert plant farm used to store useful items. Okay. Genetically engineered plant uh, containers. Uh, let me see here. What options? Hold on a second. I'm like, what even was that? I'm curious about something. Display sound controls. Quick get. Wow. Visors. What opacity? HUD lag. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it is a container. What about this, though? So, um, storage. Let's see. Trace amounts of moisture from the air. Stores it in chambers throughout its body. Uh, can hold on to this moisture for weeks if necessary. Okay. Makes sense. What are you? Lumite? The Lumite thrives on light and can render itself invisible to most predators within it. When out of the light, the creature is relatively harmless, relying on crudely uh, fat chunk of biomatter to defend itself. But once in the light, it can channel large amounts of solar energy into a deadly blast. Okay, large amounts of solar energy. That's That's great. That's great. Please die. All of you. I, I don't want to encounter any of this. Luminoth. Been dead for, uh, let's see, 1.1 deca cycles. The body has been badly damaged by sandstorms and heat exposure. Judging from their blast wounds, the target was dead long before the desert got to it. Uh. 
Uh, sand grass. Grass developed to a desert climate. Let's see. Scans indicate the plant requires no moisture to survive. Uh, relies uh, exclusively on solar energy for sustenance, making it well adapted for life in the desert environment. Let's see. Extensive mutations present, suggesting radical bio adjustments within the last decacycle mutation. Uh, source is not natural. The plant strain was genetically engineered, possibly by the Luminol. The okay, question is, are you my enemy? I saw lightning. Okay, so this grass doesn't count as the kind of grass in Metroid Prime 1. I was afraid for a second. We're going to encounter something weird. Like the grass that I have to shoot so it recedes into the ground. The Agon Wastes. Hmm. So we just have a barren temple, and now we're getting into barren wastes. Great. The game really wants to make things depressing. I got the spooky stuff early on, but... Well, hello. What are you? Sand Digger. Scans indicate the Sand Digger has a dual brain nervous system. Both of its heads are capable of attacking, disabling, and digesting prey. It fires globs of acidic digestive fluid at its prey to cripple them and begin the digestion process. Its hide is very durable and resistant to weapons fire. Only the exposed eyes can be damaged. Very good. Excellent. Its other head is, is active. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that. They weren't joking. Sand bats. Airborne predator pack. Tactical targets cause damage. They fly in swarms. Sand bats are small flyers. They travel in packs for safety. Uh, they are predatory in nature. Failing to find prey as a group, sand bats will often enter a feeding frenzy and attack one another in search of sustenance. Really? I think I have uh, killed a few of them right there, though. I'm like, can I predict? Yes, I can predict their movements. Very good. The sand bat race must be exterminated to prevent contagion from spreading. What? Nothing. Nothing. I said nothing. Okay, let's, let's scan this thing, though. It looks fun. What is that? Uh, sonic security system. Sonic gear. Needed to interface with the system. Got it. Keeping it shut. Let's see. Destroying the sonic beam emitters may open the door. In other words, there's, uh, there, there are emitters over there that we need to destroy so that the door can open. wonder what's in that door. or what's in any of this. Hmm. No, not Sonic the Hedgehog. Not true. Those are lies. There are more bats! Cool, save point. And bats! We've killed a few of them. How many more exist? Okay, they're gone now. Save the damn game! Everything is scary. 